Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Before Finn starts to feel like everyone else on the CBS soap is watching him, Bold and the Beautiful must resolve the Sheila Carter issue. But despite all the security measures the foresters have put in place on B&B, &B, they seem to have overlooked something that could resolve this issue. Kimberlyn Brown's Sheila Carter talks a fine game, but just as she seems to be changing for the better, this crazed killer cracks. Since being released from prison, all she talks about is getting another opportunity. Finn seems to have internalized this concept to the point where he advised his wife to be patient with her. John Finnegan, Tanner Noblen, receives numerous assurances from Sheila that she won't hurt him or his family. But Bold and the Beautiful keeps teasing that the woman Finn calls Mom's deranged mind is not instantly cured. Nobody is more familiar with this than the Forrester family. Guards are therefore stationed everywhere to protect this family. However, it appears that the characters on B and B have so far missed one crucial component. Jack Lane McKinnon's wood Steffi Forrester was told by Finn that he would do anything to save their marriage. As Bold and the Beautiful continues its run next week, that might involve lying to his wife. This terrified woman seeks a guarantee from Finn that Sheila is no longer alive in his eyes. If their marriage survives, she can't be a part of his life. Finn tried to persuade Steffi to change her mind by saying some odd things. It seems like he has forgotten that this woman recently shot him and his wife on Bold and the Beautiful. Therefore, it appears like Steffi might be persuaded to give this doctor husband another chance. But it also appears that John Finnegan won't be able to ignore Sheila entirely. On Friday's episode, the Forrester daughter seemed to be leaning toward inviting Finn back. Therefore, it is possible that she will soon feel secure enough to take him back thanks to a promise from Finn and the presence of guards. Is she actually secure? Even though there were guards there, Sheila Carter managed to enter the cliff house. She boldly walked through the door on her way to greet Finn and her grandson. Why then wouldn't she sneak by them once more? It doesn't seem like Steffi has a lot of faith in the ability of the guards stationed to protect her family. What more are they able to do? Last week on Bold and Beautiful, whenever she heard a noise she went to the back door before she left Finn. She then mourned angrily while shouting Sheila's name. She is currently on her grandfather's property, which has increased security. Steffi is terrified about Sheila Carter showing up. Additionally, she holds Finn responsible for letting his crazy mother in by embracing her at the courthouse. However, Bold and the beautiful viewers are aware that Sheila Carter will enter any of their homes if she wants to. Guards had never before prevented her. But if the foresters want to keep Sheila Carter at bay, they should probably approach this in a different way. They might maintain better control by keeping her under their sight at all times, rather than stationing guards everywhere she could go. This probably wouldn't have worked to win Steffi back if Finn had approached her holding flowers in his hand while getting down on his knees, but he could probably offer her something that would persuade her to reconsider five. On Bold and the Beautiful, nobody in John Finnegan and Steffi's social circle has yet to propose this. Why not put security guards on Sheila instead of invading Steffi's life? They could keep track on Sheila at all times if they hired two or three skilled trackers. If she surfaced anywhere near the foresters at any point, a brief phone call to all of them would alert them. Additionally, Sheila would start to feel uncomfortable if she discovered she was being followed, and she might even decide to leave the city. She might be able to avoid one person if she realizes she is being followed, but not two or three if they follow her at a safe distance. So why not merely surround Sheila Carter with a team of watchful eyes instead of securing all of Forrester's properties? Finn may offer his wife this as a wonderful peace offering. Additionally, he can ensure her that he won't see her again by doing this. If he knew that individuals were informing the family of Sheila's every step, John Finnegan would be afraid to even see her. But you never know, perhaps Ridge Forrester, Thorsten K., came up with that ruse first. The nine-toed woman may already be being followed by someone. You might be hiding it from everyone to see if John Finnegan will honor his promise. Oh, what complicated web would be spun if this were the case. Not just for Finn, but also for Deacon Sharp, seen Kanan, who was covertly having an affair with this top opponent. She is, after all, their greatest opponent in the eyes of foresters. It appears that someone overlooked the most straightforward way to protect the family from Sheila Carter. To catch Finn in the act on the CBS soap opera. Perhaps this is already in place, but has been kept secret for a reason. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay with us.